Look, ISD announcing that the school year will begin August 17th. They'll follow the safety guidelines released today by the Texas Education Agency. KMAX West Rappaport joins us from Austin where he says teachers and parents and students are now eager to dive through those guideline documents to find out what all the fall semesters will look like. Hey Brian, state education leaders released nearly 30 pages of guidance to school districts that aim to do a couple of things. First, to provide additional details about state funding for schools and to prepare school districts for remote instruction. As Texas sets a record for new COVID-19 cases, parents like Vanessa Steinkamp waited anxiously for the state to spill on when she'll be able to send her three kids back to the classroom. I don't know how we go back safely. I don't know that there is a safe way, but at least acknowledging that there are a cohort of students that find schools to be a safe place would be a good start. Schools get money based on student attendance. A key piece of the crisis response this spring was waiving daily attendance mandates so schools wouldn't take a financial hit. With a full school year about two months away, the state developed framework of options to ensure schools have predictable funding and accountability for educating students. One method of approved remote instruction involves live virtual classes with real-time lessons and timed online tests. Another focuses on self-paced online courses with pre-recorded instruction. Our teachers are ready right now you know, to go back to school in a virtual setting. The state is recommending staff and students wear masks, sanitize hands, and stay six feet apart from each other, but stopped short of requiring those measures, leaving much of the control in the hands of local districts. All students and educators have to, 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 to be guaranteed that there's gonna be enough per, per, uh, personal protection equipment, um, clean sanitation equipment. I mean, everything that we know needs to be in place physically uh, before we can even consider you know, opening schools. Steinkamp hopes the state will be flexible about its plan. Maybe we won't get to go back, but at least if we're weighing it and being honest about it, that's the best we can do. The Texas Education Agency tells me it's still taking in feedback on its public health plan. The agency also tells me it plans on releasing additional information soon to the public, but there's no timeline for when that will be. Reporting in the KMAC Austin Bureau, I'm Wes Rappaport. Brian, back to you.